Merry meet and welcome to Lex Jack and Queen Magic. I'm Taylor and as promised, this is our Divine Feminine Collective reading. So no matter how you identify yourself, this is meant to be the counterpart for our Divine Masculine reading on Monday and this will be a weekly series that you can expect to find support for either side of the energy. With that, let's go ahead and get started with this collective reading. So right off the bat, we do have our Divine Feminine being represented by Mary Magdalene, the Apostle to the Apostles. So I am the bridge between heaven and earth. I am fully human and fully divine. So I definitely would encourage you to look up her individual story, see if maybe that has some recognition in what you're currently going through right now. But ultimately, I'm getting the sense that um, you're needing to recognize this energy within you because I'm hearing that people I'm hearing like people have kind of like cut you out of the loop so um like some people might like the communication is all around you rather than being communicated to you and you're like very aware of the situations that are happening and so spirit is coming in saying like it's interesting because I'm also picking up on the fact that, that, especially if you're here, that you are most likely a channel and that you can tune into the energies of the world very easily and to that of your friends. And so um, you're probably very prone to not only knowing uh, or not only suspecting, but also truly knowing when someone is gossiping you, about you or there are rumors being spread. And it makes you feel a little chaotic in your mind. And spirit is coming through saying like, not to focus on that focus on the fact that you are a bridge between heaven and earth that that's why you're on this oh why it seems like you're on the edge because you're so i was trying to think of a good metaphor for this but essentially like if the world if the world was flat and like heaven was at the end of one spectrum you would be able to be off of the world because you're able to be in that space between heaven and earth. And not everyone can go there. And so that is where why you see a little bit strain of communication is because people just don't understand how to communicate to you is ultimately what I'm picking up on. And that that's why you need to draw the story more into you is to shake that disbelief, that illusion that um, that people can choose the, what narrative they, they say of you. Okay. So very important for that. And let's go ahead and take a look more so what your past life is influencing us. Influencing, yeah, well, I'm a divine one, right? We're all here. Okay, so we are getting um, Elizabethan uh, dancer. So this is right off the, okay. It's very interesting energy. So I'm hearing uh, ultimately the reason why this is influencing you this right now is because you're needing to be reminded of who you are and what you're worth. And so this kind of energy is, Okay, I'm also hearing, um, sorry, there's a lot coming in with this. So it's a, it's both of them interact with each other and that's why they're coming out. So with that, let's go ahead and step forward more into it. So first we're seeing miscommunication, misunderstandings are very prevalent, but with this dancer, it's saying that maybe you need to communicate in a different way. Writing, speaking, you uh, singing, I'm hearing that is going to be very important for you, singing, whether it's just in your home, in the shower, um, or you may yourself uh, be actually thinking about spreading your music and the way that you do it is through singing um, and through sharing songs. Yeah, I even heard like even like campfire songs, like there's something about it that like just makes you feel so at peace in like where you're meant to be. And so with that, what we're seeing is that spirit is saying like it's you just have a different level of communication. Again, we saw you're so you're you're off the world compared to other people. So in order to communicate, like I'm hearing like write letters. Oh, we got the Akashic Records coming up last time for the Divine Masculine that they need to go into it. So interesting enough, the Divine Feminine seems able to channel the channel from the Akashic Records in order to actually uh, give that understanding and information to the Divine Masculine. So very interesting how those two are bound are meant to balance each other out, how those two energies has one is meant to receive and one is meant to give something to keep in mind. And another an additional reason why you need to recognize that you're in the position of giving. You are the powerful uh, one in the, for almost everyone here in connection, you're probably going to be seen more as the masculine one. Something that just came up is uh, with dancers, this is associated with like Shakespearean plays. And something to be said is that the female roles used to be played by men. And so right now, right, we're a divine femme collective looking into this. You might be feeling like you're a man playing a woman. 
And so that's really why this energy is coming up, why there's that miscommunication, why you're feeling a little bit out of your skin. Um, and like people are choosing, like you're playing a character and people are choosing the narrative put on you. That's another reason why you're being this performer. And um, I'm seeing that too often people are deciding how you perform rather than the other way around. You have your talents. You were gifted with your talents. You know best how to utilize those. Um, working on your communication is going to be one of those things in uh, turning it into more nonverbal or more metaphorical. Communication is going to be so important uh, for you to be able to get closer to this giving nature of giving knowledge and being seen as the in-between. So there is something to be said here that there may be a little bit of ego uh, checking, a little bit of projections around what you're around like what your ideal life looks like, around what the ideal world looks like. And so that's again why spirit is coming to say like you're this middle piece. You don't have it all figured out. There's something too coming up between the two divine energies. We don't have it all figured out. We're just at the beginning and, and uh, gaining access to this information. So that's something just to keep in mind as you go through this um, energy and, under, and whenever you feel like you're a performer. Make sure to perform in the way that you want. Like I'm hearing, like if you, like if you're a singer, you're not going to go on stage and start juggling just because more people in the crowd like that. You're going to go onto that stage and sing because that's what you're best at. Okay. And then we also have some messages from a, a mermaid for how you can bring more love into your life. And so we have decisions coming up. Okay. So this is telling me right away that you're biggest thing happening in the collective is that for the divine feminine is that you are being the one who has you're needing to be the more decisive one so if you watch the divine masculine energy reading uh something that i mentioned was that too often the divine masculine i'm sorry um in the current culture the masculine will typically decide on what a relationship looks like and so spirit is coming and saying like it is now more the divine divine <laughs> man tongue twisters <laughs> uh it is more of the df's job to support the balancing energy and to make decisions that will support the world so um and ultimately support you so any decision that you're making that supports you and your highest alignment is a decision that supports <laughs> i just heard literally peace on earth so take that how you will um but yeah so the decision but spirit is coming in very clearly saying like the decision making has shifted to the divine feminine because there's a certain healing needed there's a certain balance needed and what did i say the divine feminine is the giver right now so in order to be the giver you also need to be able to make the choices you're the one supporting all right <laughs> again just another reminder coming through to recognize your worth and what you were capable of Whew. Okay, uh, so now we have some hidden truths for you guys that may just be in and around you. So I don't want to know. Okay, so that's going to be the last hidden truth. No, it's me. Um, so I, you know, it's, I'm, it's such conflicting energy. So we're having these two come up because like you need to recognize who you are because you're really feeling like this performer energy from a past life is coming through and that's why it's like affecting you so much now. And then we have decisions with, I don't want to know. So these are things where you're like, you need to know information in order to make a wise decision. And uh, sometimes that's not always helpful. So there is a certain transparency element that is needed right now. And spirit is saying, um, you are meant to become the first transparent, which is really hard um, because it can seem like you're becoming more vulnerable. I would encourage you to look at it more as uh, gaining a new kind of armor. Okay. And then we also have, I can't reach out. Okay. This is so interesting. So I'm divine feminine. It seems like you do not want to help your partner if I'm being honest. Um, oh, what I'm picking up on is you're probably really feeling, you're like, I need to help. I need it right now, not them. Like toxic masculinity is what has hurt me so far. Why would I help the masculine side is right now? Um, and so this is twofold. One, spirit is saying like you're in your own process right now. That's why you're needing to recognize your own energies, your own powers, so that you can get more into that giving state, right? 
Um, and then something else about the I can't reach out, it comes back to that communication level. It comes back to the fact of, um, and even I don't want to know is also about communication, right? Um, it's it's turning a blind eye, saying, ooh, if you have like gossips and rumors that are coming up, you're like, you know what, I don't even want to know what they're talking about because it doesn't matter. They're talking about it. Who cares? Um, but then you have that I can't reach out. So you're really going into this like seclusion moment. And it's furthering miscommunication to where you're just further like I it's for some of you, you like made the decision like it's not me who needs to reach out. It's them. For some of you, that's valid. And for others of you, it is like those people in your life who uh, were treating who are those gossipers and those rumors. You've decided that you like you you literally can't want to reach out is kind of the thing. Okay, so keep on rolling. Your intellect arouses me. Okay, so for those of you who know, this came out for the Divine Masculine Collective reading. So, and the, this really picks up on it because you are, their, their reading was a lot about like needing to learn and wake up to, wake up to their past lives and be open to learning new things. And then yours is a lot more recon, recognizing who you are in this current life and being able to give information. So this so, I'm sorry, I just love how much it connects. So just the fact that this card came up really is telling us like the divine, feminine, and masculine are so attracted to each other through their minds and through their talents. And through that, that is why these energies are rising up as a collective for the world. And we're starting to see uh, this energy vortex take over of balance because both sides are requesting it just so beautiful okay last hidden truth i need security divine feminine let me tell you i definitely <laughs> there's a certain uh understanding that security is something that divine feminine looks for in a divine masculine and i would encourage you especially in your separation um, especially because uh, this is so much of this reading has been more of a call to recognize that like we're not the ones hurting as much anymore um, because we're it's now time to forgive and heal and um, to give back in, information and insight rather than hold, withholding it. And so, but in order to do that as a divine feminine, you need to feel safe and secure. You need to feel like you can say anything and it will either result in an intellectual conversation or it will be accepted for what it is, the truth. And with that, a lot of times we look for a divine masculine to provide that so that we can find that balance. So this is spirit coming up saying like, this is where you're needing your balance. And so this is why you're feeling like you don't want to give. So this is where our shadow work is, is where is our security? Where are we gaining it? Like for instance, a big security is your home. How safe do you feel in your home? How safe do you feel in your room? Uh, how, face, how safe do you feel at work? Like how safe do you feel in your car? Just like certain points in your life, you can think about it and then make changes to make that space feel more safe so that you can start to become a, be in a more giving nature. So just take small steps. Like I said, this is more shadow work. Um, a lot came out around not wanting to do anything and to really stick our hand, uh, hands, uh, stick our feet and heads in the sand. And so the way that we're going to best be able to move forward is not just by recognizing who we are and what we're able to do, but by one, committing to ourselves and making that decision, but two, the shadow work around where is the security? Why do I have this certain sense of lack? And once you really uncover that, that's going to support your own alignment, let alone the rest of the world. Okay, and then finally, we just have some more tarot to uh, give us some further insight into what you can expect in the future and some advice. So, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, first off, I'm okay. I'm seeing like you're doing it. Um, if you're an entrepreneur, this is definitely like recognizing you and all your hard efforts that you've been putting in, uh, especially if you've been going it alone. And if you've been doing any project work alone, be that self-development, be that running a family, running a home, cooking meals. If you're the only one doing that for yourself, that's amazing, you know? 
um this is spirit coming and saying like this is a sense of relief like wherever you are right now as chaotic as it may seem again recognize who you are and what you're capable of find that security because it is meant for you this is a moment this is supposed to be a moment of relief yeah i'm hearing through wisdom and play you'll find the insight that you need in order to feel more secure about moving forward especially because after the nine comes the ten so this is kind of like your break of saying like hey i'm doing the thing all on my own and then the next is the ten where it has all of the family together right so just because you may seem like you're on your own right now spirit is saying that this is a beautiful time for you to just enjoy it like uh, maybe find some media where it's like living your best uh, single life kind of mentality. And um, I heard Girl Boss, not the Netflix series because that there is there's some mess up relationships in that. Um, but just the mentality of like finding like movies and media that are around like being a girl boss and uh, taking the world by storm as you are not necessarily needing someone by your side to do it so like something that's coming up is like not like a partnership either where it's like you and your best friend you may have a beautiful project that you're working on but this is spirit just wanting to really highlight you and all of your accomplishments and what you're doing in your life and all the great things that you are doing so take that as it will you know, the divine masculine had to do a gratitude list. I'm hearing for you, this is really a, an accomplishment list would be even better. Okay. And then next we do have the two of swords coming up. <laughs> um, sorry, it's indecision, right? You have so many decisions to make. You're deciding between your head, between your heart. And again, we're seeing like, I am fully human and fully divine. You're, you do not need to decide between two sides of you. I'm also hearing from spirit. If you don't decide between one, the other will be decided for you. That's typically the negative of the two of swords is that we let decisions get made for us. Um, we allow ourselves to become, to remain confused and blindsided rather than taking control and making a decision that best suits us. So something too with this, a lot of times when we let that indecision happen, we lose a sense of security. So to make that decision, make that commitment, commit to yourself as however you need to in order to find that security, in order to know the best way to move forward with your two of swords moment you may find out your two of swords moment is actually two of pentacles where you're able to find a balance between the spirituality and practicality okay and then we also have page of wands coming up for you so i um the divine masculine had the page of swords coming out so it is very interesting that again we're getting communication being very important between the two sides and the advice for you for the page of wands is you to take in this Oh, brilliant creative energy okay so we saw the nine of, nine of pentacles coming up as like just brilliant relief and then the page of wands is saying is taking that brilliant relief and sharing it with others in the sense of passion and creativity because that ultimately is what you're working on you're kind of finding your stride is what i'm seeing even if it doesn't seem like it like um something interesting if you're a runner walker jogger however but any kind of exercise that you keep up for a little bit all of a sudden it gets easier and you might not realize especially if your mind is busy <laughs> if you're busy having fun um just how far you'll go or just how much you'll do so that's kind of the mentality that's coming up here is like just remember to have fun and embrace like all the joy that you can because it's right there for you and it's going to propel you so far it's going to help you make decisions is what I just heard. <laughs> yeah. Where is your joy? Where is your fun? If it's not in that decision and that neither decision allows for an option, I encourage you to search more. Find another option. I'm a firm believer that every thought we have came with a choice when we made that thought. And with that choice, there probably were at least three or four others. E like Even when you get yes or no, you can add typically like five more answers of like, maybe try again. I don't know. Not right now. So just keep that in mind. Like there's so many different ways that you can look at your options around you. And um, Spirit is saying not to limit yourself. Again, it's just coming up to me like you're in, in between. Other people can't walk off the world, but you can because you are in the in between. That is part of your home. If anything, you're traveling to support people on the earth and being like oh let me help you be human i know how to be both and that's really what's coming up and that literally oh that literally is what you're supposed to be helping the divine masculine with right 
you're not just helping them understand how to be fully divine. You're helping them understand how to be fully human. You're helping them understand how to be both. Okay. That's all. That's all you're at. So lastly, we have for you the seven of wands coming out. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. It is so interesting, this energy, because so much of it is spirit being like, get out there. Just share your bright talents. Yeah. And then it's you being like, no, the world is scary. <laughs> and spirit just keeps coming back saying like, it's all up to you. I'm not going to, I'm not going to push you out that door. But at a certain point, someone else may make the decision. And so spirit is saying that you have the power to make this decision. You have the power to make a decision that is not only beneficial for you, but beneficial for those around you. I'm seeing with the seven of wands too, especially uh, your home space, again, especially with the I need security right there. Your home space is so important, okay, uh, for your energy work and what you are working on. So if you are not feeling positive about where you're at, I guarantee you, um, you need to develop a sacred space for you to be able to take down all your barriers. Um, there are certain, I'm trying to remember, um, I believe, I believe it's shame responses, but, um, they might be trauma responses. Essentially though, oh man, just lost it. But essentially, uh, what I, there it is, uh, what I am getting at is you may come to a point, like, if you are feeling so, um, not burdened, uh, isolated, isolated, like you, uh, to the point to, that you have built up so many armors and boundaries around yourself and around your heart to where even you or spirit cannot get to it, then that is really what the seven of wands is coming up and why you feel so defensive because you want to fight everyone off from this one area that you have. And that one area may not even be fully formed, which is even more reason why you're getting aggressive or defensive around it. Again, something coming up really strong is like uh, being hurt by the, by the masculine and now being asked to give and teach and let's face it, most likely, probably still ungrateful. What did we hear in the last one? Like, the fine masculine is only now opening up and they're still being told by the outside world not to. So they're not really seeing encouragement from their divine feminine. And that's kind of what we're picking up here, right? Is the fact that, like, the collective is saying, hmm, interesting. I went through so much other stuff because of what you're going through. So I guess we'll figure it out on our own. And that's really the energy that's coming up. And I think that's a big reason, too, why a lot of twin flames are probably in separate... Uh, are going through separation in such an extreme format. It's to help build uh, uh, the balanced energies as a individual. There we go. Um, as an individual before building it as a couple. Yes. With that, honestly, Divine Femme, the things that I'm saying for you the most is working on recognizing who you are, I definitely would look up Ray Magdalene, understand that you are on, you're fully human and you are fully divine. You are more than most of those around you, right? And that's, that's difficult. So something too coming up is spirit is not saying that you can't be home. In fact, it is encouraged that any external energies that maybe are not uh, working for you, just like the, the divine masculine is learning discernment. You already know it is what I'm picking up on. So they are not saying like, oh, yeah, go out and convince those people who are the least likely to listen to you. Again, lean into your talents is what's coming up. So where do you need to feel secure? What performance are you putting on? And what performance do you want to put on? That's where I'm going to go ahead and leave it. Thank you again for being here, guys. I will definitely see you next time. And blessed be.